Love broccoli soups, really good, it's really simple, nice and nutritious. We're riching it up with the goat's cheese here. We've got some fresh rocket we're gonna put in there to nice peppery taste. And to keep my cappy, we've got some bacon in there, nice smoked bacon. Um, so it's really simple, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's perfect for this time of the year and it's really, really tasty. Now it's back to you guys. Great to have you with us. We are back in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, you're making an interesting sounding soup. I actually quite like the sound of this. Yeah, broccoli and goat's cheese. Yum. So it's with a really bit of rocket. Yeah, 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 so we've got a little bit of rocket there just to get, we're just going to blend that through right in the last minute and it gives this really beautiful sort of grassy, peppery uh, note to it. Mm. We've got some smoked bacon as well. Nice, there you go. Um, so, yeah, really easy. Um, we're going to start cooking it. Put your Alpha yeah. One rice bran oil in there. That's it, we're just going to, um, so what we're going to do now, I mean, you don't bacon. have to do this, but I like to do this with soups because, you, you know, once you blend a soup, you always get one texture. Yes. You know, so it's nice to have like a little bit of garnish, what you can drop in on the top, you know, give you a bit of extra texture, a bit of extra flavour. So that's what I'm going to do with the bacon now. That's why you're a chef, mate. That's it. You know the good tricks. Right, so I'm just going to take the rind off the bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, so beautiful uh, smoked bacon here, just going to dice it up. And I've got another pan on, on the side. Yes. You know, this is sort of chefy faffing around, but it's well worth it, so do this. <laughs> so it doesn't take long, so just little pieces, and I'm gonna fry them so they're nice and crispy. Yep. We'll take them out, and then we're gonna make some croutons as well. Yep. You, know what, you know what croutons are? Yeah, um, just hard bread. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds so much better in French, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so basically, yeah, fried crispy breads rather than right. hard, stale breads. Uh, <laughs> right. Maybe my mum and dad were just palming off croutons in the soup <laughs> just to get rid of the stale old bread they had in the cupboard. <laughs> no, it's croutons! <laughs> They're a bit crunchy, mum. Oh, I hope she's not watching. I'll get it on. Yeah, I know, so do I. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then so we've got a little bit of oil in the pot as well. Yeah. We're just going to put a little bit of smoked bacon in there as well, and we'll fry that off, and then that's going to be the base of our soup. So we're getting a nice smoky, meaty flavour in there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can make this um, a vegetarian soup if you want. Right. You know, we don't need to put the bacon in there, but I know Mike loves bacon, oh, and no, uh, me too as well. So it's, it is nice it to put it in there. Works really well with the uh, broccoli. I like the way this relationship is developing, Mark. <laughs> Chicken and bacon. <laughs> Chicken and bacon. <laughs> Okay, right, cool. so a little bit of onion as well. So we're going to pop that in into the soup base. So just building up the flavours. You know, we'll get a nice, we'll sweat it down, we'll get a nice uh, sweetness from that. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in there as well. So right. just crush that. So remember, we're going to blend it as well, you know, so right. you, don't need to, you don't need to spend hours chopping it really nice and fine, you know, just get it in there, release all the flavours and then we'll blend it last minute. I get the sense this could be quite a quick recipe to whip up at home too. No, no, yeah, it's, re it's really quick, really Good. tasty, great for a lunch option, you know? Yeah. I mean, pretty much staple things you've got around in the, um, you know, in the fridge, in the pantry. You know, we've just got some stock cube here. You know, if you've got chicken stock at home or you make it, you can have it in the freezer, pull it out, perfect for this. If not, you know, stock cube, it's great in the pantry and uh, you can make it whenever you want. Nice. A little bit of carrot we're gonna put in as well, just to bulk it out. So just gonna cut that into just little pieces. How's mm -mm. that bacon going? Well, everything's smelling delicious because I can just smell bacon. <laughs> okay, carrots. All right, and then sort of just sauté in that. Right, so if we're blending this, you cut the carrots that size just for even cooking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, what we want to do before we blend this, obviously the carrots need to be soft. Everything needs to be soft and we have a nice flavoured stock. And we're not going to cook the broccoli to the end because what's okay. going to happen if we overcook the broccoli or cook it too long? It'll go all soggy. And brown, yeah. So we'll lose that nice vibrant right. colour. Yeah, yeah. So it just wants to be cooked, we'll blend it and then we'll serve it with the goat's cheese. Mm -mm. Okay, nice work. Right, so a little bit of bread. So I'm just going just gonna to do some nice slices. You know, you don't... You can take the crust off if you want, but it's, it's quite nice, you know. Just some nice, nice, oh no, you're not, are you all right? I lost a bit. <laughs> I thought you did that on purpose so you could eat that in the break. <laughs> oh. oh, where has it gone? Oh, oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Everything's coming along swimmingly here. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, I'll finish chewing. Let's head over to Holly. What do we need to do to get the soup going? Right, so we put some, so we sweat the vegetables, we put some water in there, brought it back to the boil. Yes. So just crumble in some stock cube. Yes. Into that. What is that, beef stock? Uh, chicken. chicken stock. Chicken stock. Right, so that, that goes in there. I mean, obviously, if you're going to do vegetarian, um, just use a vegetable stock. Right, fine. okay. Right, so now it's up to the boil. 
Uh, we're going to get our broccoli mm -hmm. um, because the carrots are probably not too far off. We're going to get our broccoli and cook it. Yes. But then I've strained the uh, bacon off so you get it nice and crispy there. I've left the fat in there from the bacon. For the croutons. Yes, and we okay, are going to cool. cook the croutons in the bacon fat in the pan. Give it a nice little season as you go. So nice and crispy. You want that um, stale bread texture. Nice. Mm -hmm. Just nice. like childhood. Yeah, just it is like childhood. Yeah. So you're gonna get lots of flavour, nice texture from that. You've got the bacon. We're gonna blend half the goat's cheese through the soup. Yeah. The other half we're gonna crumble on top, and we've got that rocket as well. Nice work. Right. So the broccoli, just like to take a little bit off the stem, you know, just that woody part. So get rid of that. Yeah. We'll keep the rest of the stem because we're gonna put that in our soup. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that's it. Actually, you know, while you're chopping up the broccoli, there, can I just draw your attention to this very angry-looking goat? <laughs> now, uh, speaking of heist, which we will be talking to Scott Bainbridge about, I think he's got. Got the, he's obviously very proud he's got the broccoli because he doesn't want anybody else to have it. Maybe that's what's going on there. Maybe he's angry because he's eating broccoli. And maybe he's angry because, <laughs> well, that he should be grateful, I think. Um, okay, so right. you sliced her up, stalk and all. Yeah, yeah, so, so dice it up. So the main thing to remember is sort of get it roughly the same size so it all cooks at the same time. I'm going to pop the stalk in for a couple of minutes before just to soften that up, and then I'm going to put the um, the top part of it because that's not going to take long to cook. So will that stalk all blend up all right, or will it yeah, have yeah. a different texture to everything else? No, no, it's all going to it's going right. to be soft, it's going to be cooked, so it's all going to blend up. It's going to thicken the soup. Okay, cool. Now, give it a nice taste now. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Ooh, geez, Check sorry. our croutons. I wasn't checking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. We can pop our other bit of the broccoli in there. And so you probably want to sort of cook it now for about, I don't know, three, four minutes, five minutes maybe. Okay. Until right. it's nice and tender. You don't want to keep cooking it until it goes brown. You know, we don't want that. We not want a nice, vibrant, full of flavour um, green soup. Okay, so keep an eye on your croutons, this is underway, don't let your broccoli go brown. Yep, that's it, and then I've got a little bit of sherry vinegar here. Mm -hmm. So that's just going to season it after, just to balance all that sort of creaminess. Because once we put the ghost cheese in and blend it, it's going to be really thick and creamy and rich. Okay, great. Okay? So I'm just going to have that, crumble that, and we can serve that on top of our bowls. I'll blend that in there. Another couple of minutes and we are good to go. Nice work, right. good work. Okay, cool recipe at the cafe. Okay. Uh, better than your uh, accent. Yeah. <laughs> better, better than your accent. Okay. <laughs> Irish, it's Brendan's Irish accent. <laughs> no.